Drama as the Uber driver accused of slaying six total strangers appears in court for the first time. Are you Jason Brian Dalton? Yes. Police say 45-year-old Jason Dalton went on the shooting rampage Saturday night in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Is there anything you wish to tell the court at this time? I would prefer to see you made safe. The victims include this dad and his teenage son, who were gunned down as they were looking at cars at a local dealership. And these four women were shot dead outside a cracker barrel. Dispatch off units, suspect victim in a shooting, last seen at cracker barrel. It was so random that for many of these people, they were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Just people out enjoying a Saturday night, going to dinner, going to see a show, and the fact that uh, this happened to them in a, in a blink of, of an eye, really. Between shootings, police say Dalton continued picking up passengers, including these three friends. How we're sitting is, is how we were the night we took the, the Uber ride. Um, it's just hard to believe that, you know, the guy was sitting just one foot away from us the entire ride. It's easy to look back and see, maybe, oh, we should have picked up on that clue or that clue, but at the time, it didn't seem impossible this was the guy. Just 30 minutes before the first shooting, an Uber passenger called 911 to say he had fled Dalton's car after a nightmarish ride. We were kind of driving through medians, driving through the lawn, speeding along, and then finally, once he came to a stop, I jumped out of the car and ran away. Matt Mellon's fiance even posted a warning on Facebook with Dalton's photo. The Uber driver named Jason is not a safe ride. My fiance got a ride with him and he was driving very erratically, swerving in and out of oncoming traffic. 911 was called, but surprisingly, they didn't seem all that concerned. Here's what we know about Dalton. He is a father of two and has been married 20 years. He has no criminal record, just a handful of traffic tickets. There were heart-wrenching emotional scenes at a memorial service for the victims. Six people who were apparently chosen at random by an accused monster.